What's up, you bunch of GP? We are here at Fun Spot Atlanta, which is actually in Fayetteville, but that's fine, you know. Potato, potato. To give you our first ride reaction on Air Force One. Uh, I don't know, what are you guys excited for here? Oh man, I'm looking forward to this, uh, this so-called uh, Raven. I'm excited about this. Looks like a dope layout. Yeah. This is uh, totally unprecedented. A coaster this size and this kind of park. So I'm just excited to get on a ride, man. Let's do this. Yeah, let's get it in. How are you going? Oh, buddy, man, Airy Force One. Yeah, I tipped my hat. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> no. expect that. Actually, I, actually didn't, I didn't expect that. I know why. Absolutely uh, incredible. Impressive. This puts Fun Spot and Land on the map for sure. Oh and yeah, arguably the best coaster in Georgia. Yeah, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not even gonna argue. Best coaster in yeah. best coaster in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. sorry, <laughs> sorry, Glass. You've been you've been holding it down for as long as you can, man. But uh, this right here is uh, this is good work here by RMC. Yeah, yeah, elite top tier RMC. Yeah. Uh, it, you're being flung all over the place. It's one of those things that just. I remember when they announced this, I was like, at where at Fun Spot? They're doing that, but right next to the ENF High Miler. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. And uh, man, it did not disappoint. Some of the best inversions yeah, on an RMC. RMCs are known, everybody knows them for the airtime, the negative Gs, but this uh, zero G stall is incredible. You hang upside down forever. And the barrel rolls on the back side, yeah. oh my god, they're the fastest, whippiest barrel rolls on any RMC. Well, yeah. Even the bunny hills are freaking good. Yeah. yeah. At the end, I mean, you get whipped over and you get ejector on the smallest hills. Yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah. no wasted elements on this ride at all. Uh, you can tell they really strategically thought this thing out. It's like, okay, let's take some of the best qualities of RMC as far as ride elements, combine them, give them to a small park and fun spot down here outside of Atlanta, and <laughs> put it next to like a little road, and uh, and bring people to the park. And um, yeah. phenomenal job. I, I, I even like the paint scheme also, with the, even with the off with the two-tone track toes, it works very well. Yeah. I think it's a testament too to what they can do with a blank canvas, whereas with the conversions, they're kind of beholden to the existing structure. This being a ground up, it's like the world is their playground. They can do all these amazing, incredible elements and, and maximize the layout space as they have here. They can do whatever the hell they want. They can go over an arcade on the back end if they want. That's what yeah. they do. Good segue, because now you and I came, we started filming some construction updates early on. Didn't we think that what was happening behind the arcade was probably gonna be the weakest part of that? 100% right? we, we observed We were like, that. oh, yeah. a little barrel roll, and sometimes those are, like I said, the zero G rolls are sometimes weak on RMCs. They're slow and just like, eh, kind of a throwaway inversion. But this time, you come down that, the biggest airtime hill on the ride, extreme sustained ejector, Oh, and then yeah. whip right into the barrel roll, quick S turn that throws you out of your seat, and then you hit the helix, which puts you in your seat. You get some positives. Like, I don't know, I felt positives on any arm before this one. Yeah. And then it whips right yeah. out of the positives right into another fast barrel roll. So that's probably, I, I think most people are saying that's the best part of the ride. Yeah, the I, agree yeah. I agree with that. I agree The turnaround's pretty incredible. One thing I think we also would agree on, in case you all are probably wondering, those of you that have been on Iron Gwazi, like where does this rank in terms of RMCs and the most recent installations, we kind of would put this, what, just a little bit below, below Iron Gwazi, yeah. but not 
far below. Like it's it's in the same class. It, in all honesty, kind of reminds me of Storm Chaser in a way, but like if you took the front end of Goliath and made a love child with the two coasters, mm -hmm. but extended the ride time, <laughs> a tall beginning and a lower oh, to the ground uh, second half. Yeah, I like that. you get that whippiness, you get the ejector, but you also get some good floater. You get great inversions. Yeah, and you get a new element very first uh, half of the ride. I uh, tip my hat. Freaking great roller coaster, for me. I will say one thing I do put this over Iron Gwazi for, as I told you guys before, uh, this is an all metal structure, so you won't have thousands of hornets at the top of the lift hill uh, <laughs> eviscerating your face while you're trying to ride a ride. Very so, good point you make right there. You know. It's nice. I mean, it, is, it, is, it is important not to get stung on a ride. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no EpiPens required for this ride, so you guys are good. It's going to be okay. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for uh, these thoughts. Thanks for joining us. Uh, for GP Coasters, I'm Jimmy. I'm Mike Gooch. And I'm Airtime Mike. Get out here. Yes. Fun spot Atlanta. Airy Force One. Yeah, shout out Coaster Idiots. Peace. <laughs>